I'm just going to say it, but I'll say it loudly because I don't have space to write it. When we talk about currents, winds, etc., they'll be added or subtracted from the rate of uh, an object in still water or still air. So just keep that in mind. So look, here's our example. It takes about two hours to travel 20 kilometers with the current. If it takes twice as long against the current, what is the rate of the boat in still water? What is the rate of the current? So look, I'm just going to, you know, simply set up a chart here. I'm going to talk about with C. Oh, and the current. Ooh, with the current, that's going to be C. Rate of the boat in still water, that's going to be R. Okay, so with C, and then um, I'm just going to say against C right here. So uh, again, we're going to do distance equals rate times time. You guys already know the drill here. Distance equals rate times time, the dirt equation. Um, and then with the current, oh, we're going 20 kilometers. Oh, each way. So that's pretty cool. We got 20 for D both ways. Um, the rate, I'm going to put R uh, plus C. That's the funky part because we're doing two different rates here. We've got two different variables. I'm already breaking a lot of algebraic rules. I'm already using two variables. I've got R plus C with the current, R minus C against current. Um, the time is two hours with the current. It takes twice as long. What's twice two? You got it. It's four. So now we've got some equations. I'm going to set it up and, and simplify it pretty quickly. So um, we've got, you know, with the current, we've got 20 equals R plus C times two, right? That's with the current. Now against the current, I'm going to set that up in green. So it's also, oh, it also happens to be 20, and that's going to be R minus C, in parentheses, times 4. Now one thing, uh, you guys are pretty observant. You're like, hey, you know what? 20 equals 20. Why don't we set them equal to each other? And I'm like, dude, genius. Good idea, Jenny. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, oh, R plus C times 2. That's the rate. That's the uh, distance with the current. It's going to be the same as the distance against the current, R minus C times 4. Now... Other observant ones are saying, hey, let's not distribute these numbers because both of these numbers, the two and the four, are divisible by two. And I'm thinking, grand idea. Let's do that. So we've got R plus C equals R minus C times two. And I'm going to distribute that two on the right-hand side. So we get R plus C equals 2R minus 2C. And it's like, oh, sweet. Now I'm going to have the left side is going to be my C side. So I'm going to add two Cs to both sides to get rid of the C. And then I'm going to subtract an R because basically my left side is going to be my C side. So I've got three C, we've got some cancellation going here, um, equals R. So R equals three C. That is key. We're going to use that. We're going to use that later. Um, now we can, we can actually plug it in to one of the original equations. That red one over there left, I like it. I like it. Um, the 20 equals quantity R plus C times 2. And you're like, hey, let's get rid of the variable. And I'm like, dude, I'm totally with you. Let's do that. So the 20 equals, instead of R, we can make it a 3C. So it's 3C plus C times 2. So 20 equals 4C in parentheses times 2. 20 equals 8C. We divide both sides by 8. And we're like, oh, oh, this is cool. We get um, C equals 2.5. I'm going to write MPH, box it because it's an answer. It asked actually the current last, but now we're going to do the rate. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit to the left here. So sorry, I'm all over the map on this one. So I'm going to substitute into this one. I just don't like subtraction. I'm going to add. So I'm going to get 20 equals, and I'm going to plug in everything I've got. Um, oh, wait, you know what? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, my gosh. R equals 3 times C. Oh, my gosh. So R, it's not a really good R, um, equals 3 times C equals 3 times 2.5 equals 7.5. Here I am writing miles per hour like I'm some kind of country that's like behind everyone else and not adopted the metric system yet. Um, so I'm going to make this a KPH here. Ha, ha, ha. Label everything correctly. Your teacher will like you better. Okay, so current is 2.5 KPH. And the rate of the boat in still water is 7.5 kph.